Welcome to truckservices.com. In this video, I will show you working of air dryer, air brake adjustment indicators, air tank draining, and air compressor. Thank you. It will purge when the cutout occur. It will purge, and then it will. Then we will watch if there is any debris or any anything coming from the air. So if it purges the water or anything on the on the floor, then it is working. If it does not see. Yeah, there is there is some water on the floor. There is some water on the floor, so that means you listen now. I'm draining my air tank. See, there is no debris, debris, water or oil coming out. So fold this and drain your air tank. If you, if you find any water or oil coming out of air tank, then you need to check your air dryer. If any water or any oil is coming out of air tanks, then your air dryer is not working. show you the safety valve located on the air tanks if your air pressure goes more than 150 psi if your air pressure is 150 psi and governor doesn't cut out and air compressor still pushing air into the air tanks then this safety valve will blow out see you can see in the video I didn't make it more clear see there is safety valve clearly visible safety valve and this will blow out and drain your air tanks if it is not if it doesn't blow out what will happen there will be a blast <laughs> then your air tank will blast so over 150 psi it will blow out and it will drain all the air from the air tanks i'm from truckservices.com so in this video i'm going to show you some air breaker components First of all, I'm going to show you my air pressure governor and air compressor. There are two types of air compressors. One are engine mounted, operated by pulleys, and one are built-in in the engine, operated by gears. So it uh, looks like it's a built-in in the engine. It's right here. See, you can see it's a built-in in the engine, this part. And then I can... I'm going to show you the air brake chambers. This is the air brake chamber. So whenever you want to mirror the push rod, you need to mirror this air brake chamber from here. This will tell you the diameter of air brake chamber. So according to that diameter, you can check your air brake adjustment. So next is the brake adjustment indicator. This is the brake adjustment indicator I have installed in my truck. So this brake adjustment indicator will tell you the brake is out of adjustment or not. If your brake adjustment indicator within these poles, so this knob within these two poles, your brakes are adjusted, applied or not applied. If I release the brakes, this knob will come here. So my brakes will still be in adjustment. If you are using if you are using these brake adjustment indicators, so better to look at them daily so it is shortcut to check the push rod adjustment. It is, uh, it is good method to check the push rod adjustment. Just look at the brake adjustment indicators and you can determine that your brakes are adjusted or not. Next component is the slack adjuster. So this is the slack adjuster. More detail from here it is more detailed. See this is the slack adjuster this thing this whole thing this is the slack adjuster so slack adjuster is release or uh, release or uh, apply the push rods as per over pressure on the brakes so then brakes again stop the system so these are the brakes next see these are the brakes this is the brakes where the brakes are come brake shoes and brake pads are in the system so when you press the brakes they will they squeeze this 
they, they when you press the brake they squeeze this drum shoes will squeeze this drum and stop the vehicle